Yes, sister. Assalamu alaikum. This question is from a non-Muslim sister. Her name is Apurva and she is a student. Her question is, why are the Muslims not allowed to sing Vande Mataram? The sister asked the question that, why are Muslims not allowed to say Vande Mataram? Before I give the answer, this is a common question, why are Muslims not allowed to say Vande Mataram, which was even asked in the press conference, beginning of the conference, by the press media. Before answering that, I would like to tell you that even the Hindus, even they should not say Vande Mataram. Because if you know the song, written by Bankim Chattopadhyay, Vande Mataram means, I bow down to my motherland, Vande Mataram, it occurs thrice in the full song. And as I mentioned earlier, according to the Veda, it's clearly mentioned in Yajurved, chapter number 32, verse number 3, and Svata Siddhar Upanishad, chapter number 4, verse number 19, Na Tasir Asti, of that God, there is no Pratima, there is no image, there is no photograph, there is no picture, there is no portrait, there is no sculpture, there is no idol. So where is the question of worshipping the land? So any Hindu who has knowledge of his Veda will never agree with Vande Mataram. If he does not know his scripture, he may say it. But if he knows his scripture as well, there are three lines, three stanzas. Whenever it says Vande Mataram, I bow down, I worship to my motherland, he is going against his Veda. As far as the Muslims are concerned, there are 12 lines which are against the Quran and the Sahih Hadith. Thrice, it says that I bow down to my motherland, which is prohibited. In Islam, we only bow to our Creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We Muslims, as long as the law of the land does not go against the law of the Creator, we are for the country. We love the country. We want to support the country. We want to upbring the country. If required, for the truth, we are ready to die for the country. But we are not ready to worship the country. Because we worship only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He alone requires to be worshipped. And this land, who is the creator of this land? Allah, Almighty God. So why should we worship the creation? Worship the creator, not the creation. And furthermore, there are stanzas in Vande Mataram, talking about divine, giving attributes, talking about Lakshmi, talking about Durga, all these things, they go against the concept of the Quran. That's the reason, and if you go back to history, this became a political issue just a couple of years back. You know, it was written in 1860s or 70s by Bankim Chattopadhyay. It was more of a political motive. And Today they want to make a political gimmick, not realizing it is going against their own religion. This song, Vande Mataram, is going against their own religion. So my advice is, not only Muslims, my advice to the Hindus is that even you don't say Vande Mataram.